Imagine this. Your lawn gets mowed while you are inside sipping coffee. Or asleep. No boundary wires, no satellite base station, just a robot doing all the work like it escaped from the sci-fi movie. Meet the Hookie Neomov X, a robotic lawnmower that I've been testing for a few months, day and night. Literally. And yes, it works at night without running over your dog or digging a trench through your flower beds. So, what's it really like living with a robot gardener? We'll find out in a couple of seconds. Unboxing time! Inside the Neom of X kit, you get the more itself, shine and futuristic, like a sports car for grass, charging base, a screw to lock it down outdoors, double-sided adhesive if you're installing it on a hard surface, two full sets of spare blades because hooky knows life happens, a user-replaceable M2M SIM card that's tucked safely under the battery cover like a little digital secret agent, plus of course the power supply and manual. Now, I didn't install mine in the garage, like Hookie suggests, I put it under a roof in my open yard, protected from the rain, but still free to roam. And yes, it's constantly under the supervision of my reeling camera. Installation. Surprisingly easy. No digging, no wires, no swearing at the tangled cables. Just scan your lawn with the app. Of course, scanning means that you have to drive your robot across the lawn by using your mobile phone as a remote control. Then define zones, paths, and you are done in around 20 to 30 minutes. Just make sure you've got a strong Wi-Fi signal at the base. This is a must. Real talk. Avoid these rookie mistakes and your Neom of X experience will be smooth as putting green. No Wi-Fi at the base equals no remote updates or control. Don't skip this. Uneven base equals docking fails. The mower needs a level home. Cramped base area equals confused and missed connection. Follow the space guidelines in the manual. Soft ground around the base equals robot quicksand. The base station can slowly sink and so can the mower itself. Well, that can be issue when you try to dock. Direct sun equals charging delay. If it's roasty in the sunlight, the battery won't charge until it cools. This is not a bug, it's a safety feature. Hot robot equals bad day. Here's where the Neom of X shows off. No buried wires, no Arctic high towers. It navigates with a 3D LiDAR and a vision-based AI camera, like a self-driving car but for grass. What's that to you? It sees trees, fences, toys, even small animals and avoids them. In fact, one of the required shots from the hooky is mower avoiding a pet. But it also got triple obstacle avoidance. First one is LiDAR that handles depth. Then there is AI camera that recognizes stuff. Then we have a physical bumper as your just-in-case bodyguard. It works flawlessly under trees, near swings and even at night. It's basically stealth mowing with the night vision and that's really pretty cool. Now to the important part. Can it actually mow well? Well, yes, it actually can do it and it does it very well. It has 280 mm cutting width, it has 5 blade rotary system, an anti-clogging deck that keeps mowing smooth and cleaning easy. It cuts, cleans, creates actual stripes on your lawn and all that with the smart path planning. It doesn't miss a spot or go over the same area 50 times like it forgot what it was doing. You can schedule zones independently, it can move one area once a week, another area two times per week and even choose single or double passes for each one of them. Want it short in the front and lush in the back? No problem, your lawn, your rules. Let's talk battery. 
it's either 30 amp hours or 17.5 amp hours depending on the model which is a lot more than most smart mowers have it means that it can cover up to 1000 meter square per charge or basically my entire lawn with juice to spare best part is the intelligent return if it needs a nap it charges to 80 percent then it gets right back to mowing where it left off like with the lone butler with OCD. And yes, you can pause one zone, go mow somewhere else, then come back later and it picks up the previous job like a pro. The app is where the brains live. You get control over zones, schedules, mowing height, double or single passes, over the air firmware updates for both mower and the dock. It connects via the Bluetooth, Wi Fi, and 4G. Hooky even gives you a gig of 4G data included, which is plenty unless you're, of course, live streaming your mowing sessions for the neighbors. Well, now, my smart home fans, I feel you. Currently, the Neomov X doesn't support smart things, Amazon, HomeKit, or something similar. But this may be added in the future update. In the meantime, I hacked together a workaround using a smart plug and of course home assistant. When the robot is off the dock, it is mowing. When it is on the dock, it is draining power or recharging. When on the dock and idle, the mowing is done and recharging has finished. I even created the push notifications when mowing starts and it finishes and it can trigger scenes based on that, of course, if you want it. This thing is built tough. At over 17 kilograms, it's not a toy, but it's still nimble enough to pass through the 77 centimeters gap. It has IPX5 waterproof rating, so you can hose it off when dirty. It handles slopes up to 45% in ideal conditions. That's roughly around 24-25 degrees. Runs under 62 decibels, quiet enough that you won't even notice it mowing at night. Rain sensor, yes, it scurries back to the dock when it starts raining, like a cat that hates getting wet. But of course you can also set it up so that it ignores the rain, if you prefer mowing at rain. So who should buy the Neom of X? Go to complex yard with trees and shade? Check. Hate digging wires? Check. Want to schedule everything from your phone? Check. Like the idea of your lawn mowing itself while you watch Netflix. <laughs> Big check. It's not the cheapest and it's not for tiny yards, but for medium to large properties, this is the kind of robot that you can brag about to the neighbors. And I did that too. Just don't let it get sunburned on a hot day. Treat it well and it will treat your lawn even better. Hope that you did find this video interesting. I'll drop all the links in the description. If you got a question, hit the comments down below and I do actually reply to them. Big thanks to Hooky for sending this over. If you enjoyed the review, hit the like button like you're hitting weeds with a weed whacker. And subscribe for more smart home for lazy people. And before I end up the video, as always, I must say thanks to all those wonderful people that are supporting me and that have become YouTube channel members. Thank you all for all of your support, but let's not forget each and every one of you who has watched, shared, liked or commented on my videos. Thank you. If you too want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking the join button down below and becoming a YouTube channel member for only 2 euros or 2 dollars per month. Or you can go to my merchandise store and get something there. Last but not least, as always, you can send me super thanks and I will be super thankful for that. I'll be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.